Hey guys, Brock here with Reefs RC. Today we're going to be unboxing our new Horizon Hobbies Wraith 1.9. We're going to be dropping in our Reefs RC Triple Five Servo here with no BEC to start off with, and our servo horn. And then we'll be running the Horizon Hobbies DX5 rugged radio system and be showing everybody how to get these installed and get the endpoints set up. And everything. All right, let's open this thing up. See what comes in here. We went for the uh, black edition. Look at that. All right, guys, let's check this thing out here. Awesome truck running the AR44 axles, all new wheel and tire package here. You got your CMS. We'll be coming up into here today to install the Reef Triple Five. And then we'll be going up into the radio box here to get that new DX5. This is the Spectrum DX5 Rugged that we'll be using in our 1.9 Wraith. So let's just see what we got here. Obviously you got the manual, packaging. So the DX5 is pretty cool. You have your single driving ability thumb right here so you can just drive with one thumb. Obviously a nice LCD display with your controls back here. One of the coolest parts is you have your compartment back here where you can put a little T-wrench, a couple other accessories while you're on the skit trail. It comes with the SR515, which has the new Spectrum technology where no bind plug is needed. I'm sure we've all been out there and not had a bind plug, so this is a really nice new addition. Okay guys, so what we're gonna be doing is installing the Reefs Triple Five next. Um, quick tech tip for you guys. You always wanna make sure to use the screw that actually comes inserted into the servo. What you're gonna notice is this is a longer screw that actually engages through all of the gears, which is going to give you the most strength. So make sure you use this screw, not the smaller one that comes with it that I already threw aside. So basically what we did in order to get this in, we removed the body, as you can see, the girl has four screws here, that all came out, everything popped out pretty good. You're gonna come underneath here, you'll remove the steering link, you'll remove the panard bar, and you're gonna remove those four screws to get the old servo out, stock servo out. You're also gonna to wanna to take the four screws off to get the cover off of the receiver box because you're gonna to need to unplug the servo and then go from there. So now what we're gonna be doing is installing the SR515 in replacement of the stock system. Here what we're gonna be doing is removing this spectrum receiver for our rugged spectrum receiver and then that way we can show you guys endpoints and getting this thing bound up and everything like that. Normally I try to use a pocket knife or something, but that will work right there. Let's see. So what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is just slide this back in. What I do before I put it back in is I'm gonna actually enter this into the steering, get that in there, and then I'm gonna enter the throttle in. We have a lot of auxiliary channels with this remote, so we have a lot of options for light controllers or possible winches, anything in the future. And then we're gonna go ahead and just set that down in there. Get nice okay, so and pressed. we got our spectrum system all bound up. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our servo horn on and get some endpoints adjusted. Get everything locked up. Make sure when you're setting up your servo and setting your everything up, you have your trim set at zero, zero. You don't have any sub trim or anything installed. Okay, so now we have our servo horn on. What we're gonna go ahead and do is tighten that down. And then what I'll do is show you guys how to set your trim and your endpoints, get all your servo properly set up. So what I like to do is get this all locked down nice and tight, and then I'll tighten the clamping sections. All really good in there. A little trick for the clamping sections are, you can take your remote, and if you just adjust it over some, it'll allow you to get a better grip on some of these clamping servos. Sure you get a real nice bite in there. Let's go to the other side, go all the way over. All right, so next step is gonna be getting this pan hard bar all lined up. As you can see, our wheels are all cattywampus here. All right guys, as you can see, we have everything all lined up here, but what we're noticing is our wheels are a little out of trim. So what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is take your trim adjust, and get it to center as close as possible. You can get some fine tuning done with the sub trim later. All right, it looks about good to me. So 
Now what you're gonna notice we have full side to side. What you're gonna wanna do next is set your endpoint. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and go into your menu and we will go to travel. Right, so what we're gonna do now is set up our endpoints. One of the quickest things you wanna do is just make sure as you give it some gas, you don't have any hopping or skipping. So see us here, we have them pretty far in, so we're going pretty good there. The biggest thing you're gonna notice is if you look right here, you can see when we go this way, it's all starting to pull it in. See, so all this is shifting in, so obviously we're stretching the frame and the servo there. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is just back that off a little bit. Try it at about 95. You can see there, see it's just still barely pulling in a little bit. Try a little bit more. And look at that, just a titch more. And now you have dialed in endpoints. So this is us running the triple five Reefs RC servo straight off the internal BEC from the Axial 85. And we're getting plenty of steer here. All right guys, as you can see, we got it back together here. We have the triple five installed. Our next goal is to get this out on our comp course, really put it through its paces so we can give you guys a good, honest review. We have a bunch of upgrades planned for this thing, so stay tuned and be prepared for the next videos coming out.